Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're coming to you live today from the floor of PTC 2024. I'm Barb Mitchell from JSA, and I today am going to be exploring the intersection of sustainability and digital infrastructure with um, Tito from Alea and uh, Fernando from Derns. Yeah. I wanted so much to say your last names, but uh, we're keeping it simple here today. And we're just so honored to have you both here and excited to talk to you. Um, but first, you you spent some time to get here. So yes. has it been worth it? Tell us about your, your journey here. And, and uh, Yeah, you know, uh, 23, hours. 23 hours. First of all, thanks for, thanks for having us. Uh, 22 hours to get here. It's uh, a long flight, yes. but um, totally worth it. I mean, the conference for us is... Uh, it's a great conference. It's the first that one that kicks off the year for us. Super important to be here. Been here for multiple years already, but yeah, it, it has been great so far. Yeah, it gets bigger every year, doesn't it? And, it's, and yes, it and does. We'll talk a little bit about that because I'm, I have some role in this now. Oh, yes, right. You know? Okay, yeah. I but uh, yeah, you grow. I mean, we are outgrowing year over year. We are growing uh, as a conference. So yeah, yeah. very good. Yeah. Um, and how about you? How's your, you had a similar, are you... Have you been to PTC before? Is this your first yes. time? Yeah. This year is my second time second in PTC, time. yes. Last year, I, I took a straight flight. I mean, we stopped in the Atlanta to come here, then yeah. it took 25 hours. Yeah. This year, is we split the, the, the trip. Uh, I made some tour in the continent oh, to nice. visit some clients. Oh, okay. And then I took a flight from Seattle to here, so it was oh, easy good. to arrive. So, yeah, but the return good. will be tough. A little bit, <laughs> yeah, yeah little but bit. you'll be. You'll yeah. be you'll but it's totally thing. worth, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, well, let's get right into it then. And, and I know that um, we have some partnership discussions to, to have here. And so I know that, um, Tito, if you wouldn't mind talking about the, uh, Alea has recently partnered with Derns. And tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, of course. So Alea is a data center platform uh, in Brazil. Uh, we currently have seven data centers. We are, we are developing a couple of other ones. And um, we, we look into the market with uh, the right partner to to develop those those lands and and Dunes appeared as one great partner that we feel like we should uh, be partnering with and, and this is it we, we are celebrating this partnership starting this year to help develop uh, those big data centers that we are building over there in Brazil right so super happy with it um, looking forward for uh, what comes from out of this partnership yeah fantastic it's always, it's always nice to have partners here and I'd love to hear from your perspective from Dern's perspective yeah excellent uh, yeah. Uh, because Dern's is a, a Dutch company and we celebrated last year 95th anniversary of foundation but uh, we have been operating in Brazil for 10 years only in the data center mar markets um, and um, the, the the Brazilian market grew a lot in the last five uh, four or five years yes. okay and then we we grabbed some important projects there with the main players, and uh, Ilea was seeking for a partner for design development and uh, project development. Um, and uh, we are kind of aware of what are the new technologies and what is the technical approach that the main players are using. So Ilea should be on the top of that. And then uh, I'm very happy with this partnership because it means a lot for us also. Yeah, it's almost like a way of not reinventing the wheel, right? So they have been doing this for a while. They mm -hmm. understand right. their needs, uh, customer needs. Their customers are our customers as well. So yeah, happy to uh, to develop this partnership. I feel like it will be fruitful. Yeah. Now, switching gears a little bit, uh -huh. uh, I understand that you have recently launched a sustainability bond yes. uh, regarding women in leadership. Yes. Tell us, what do you mean by that? So, Elea is not green only in its logo. Uh, we have uh, sustainability as a core value of the company. Uh, so, our bonds are attached into PUE, WE uh, metrics as well. So, whenever we don't reach a certain threshold, we have higher interest rates. And it's the same now with uh, women in leadership as well. We have a 40% uh, um, benchmark that we need to achieve in order for our interest rates don't uh, don't grow. I mean, it's not like we're not doing that because of, uh, right, of this yeah. aspect of it, but it is um, it is important to have women and, and sitting in leadership positions, and we are trying to bring more and more of that. As of now, we only have two. We are, it's growing. Yeah. Uh, we are finding good persons within the organization to bring this upwards a little bit. 
but yeah, that's that's the history about around that that uh, that bond. So 150 million US dollars of debt that we just raised uh, give us a little bit of wiggle room here to work in these developments that we are trying to do here with Dunes as well, and all the enterprise ecosystem that we also have uh, in play in Brazil in in those five cities that we operate. Right. That's yeah. That's. Impressive, I obviously <laughs> approve. <laughs> so that's good. Good. Uh, that's yeah. good that you approve. Yeah, it, exactly. And this time next year, you'll, you'll come back to us and say, wow, what now an we have a little bit made. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Um, and, and lastly, um, you, I believe, are starting a new term uh, on the PDC Board of Governors. Yes, I am. Tell uh, us. I think that's what you were alluding to maybe in the beginning. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Yeah. Um, I was appointed uh, a Board of Governors representing South uh, Latin America, basically. Um, so a little bit of work to, to be done. Uh, there is just a certain amount of members of PTC that come from the Latin American region. Of course, it's a long flight. Uh, I understand, totally understandable. Yeah. People tend to go into more easier conferences to get to, ITW mainly, which is somewhat easier for us uh, coming from South America. But it is um, it is an important conference. As I mentioned, the first one in the year, kicking off the relationships, making sure that we have all the, the, the relationships in place with our customers coming from Capacity Latin late in March and then ICW in May. So that makes a, a very good uh, way to reach and, and keep in contact with our customers. So happy to be appointed uh, uh, Board of Governor yeah. representing South America. Hopefully I'll be able to do a lot for my region. Right. Um, yeah, happy, happy with the nomination. It's great to have that representation of your region. Uh, Super great, PDC yeah. Capacity. Last time they had one from South America, I think it's 1990 something. Oh, wow, really? So it has been a while yeah, they don't time. have uh, somebody from South America. Yeah, and it's, as you said, the, there's a lot of growth happening there and it, it needs to That is. Yeah, needs if be. you look in the data center market as a, as a whole globally, uh, Latin America has a somewhat important uh, uh, footprint of data centers and uh, power availability, green energy, and all those kind of things. So I feel like uh, Latin America could could boom in the next couple of years. Yeah, I'm hearing that. I'm yes. hearing that. It's one well, of those. There's always some things too. that bubble up at these conferences, and that's one yes. that I've been hearing a lot. So, yes. Yeah. Looking forward for it as yeah. well. Uh, and Fernando, any any last thoughts you want to share here? Yeah, just about the, this growth in Latin America, mainly in Brazil. Uh, Brazil represents more than 50% of the data center market in Latin America. Yeah. And uh, today in, in Brazil, we have more data center uh, uh, capacity being designed or built than in, under operation. So yeah. it's a significant growth that you're achieving yeah. and the last going to come to contribute to this growth. Yeah. And then we are a very nice moment to, to be in the market. So yes. Yeah, good. it's good. And so timely for us to have had the opportunity to chat with you both. Congratulations on the partnership. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. And thank you, Fernando and Tito, so much for joining us today. Thank you. Always thank you for pleasure. having us. It was a pleasure. Yeah. We'll probably see you again in a couple months, maybe. And yeah, we'll do this, do this again. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for <forward>. sure. Yeah. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. And thank, thank you to our viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV. Happy networking.